I didn't even take a shower this morning. Uh, I'm going like a fugitive. Yeah, let's go. Putain, ah, putain. The Zambezi is the fourth longest river in Africa, after the Nile, Congo and Niger rivers. It's forming a natural border between Zambia and Zimbabwe, and it's the largest flowing into the Indian Ocean from Africa. It's my first morning in Zambia. To cross a border is always tiring, and especially when you're alone. So I decided to take it easy for my first day in Livingstone. First things first, it's time for a good breakfast, but I couldn't really enjoy it. I need to show you something. Look at all the mosquitoes. I can tell you if I don't have malaria, I'm lucky. Look at this. They are worse than my ex-boyfriends. The invasion. This is crazy. Look. Look. Putain. I'm getting a shower. Look at all the dead mosquitoes. Floor. The place is absolutely gorgeous, but Livingstone is in the malaria area. So I need to be careful and to wear long trousers and sleeve shirts in the early morning and evening. And as they say, better safe than sorry, right? <laughs> I didn't even take a shower this morning. Uh, I'm going like a fugitive. I'm actually heading to the Vic Falls and then coming back. So I'm going to leave all my stuff here at the camping. I'm going to hike around in the Vic Falls <laughs> like a professional. It's a very last minute decision. I was not supposed to go to the Vic Falls. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, relax and you know and then I talked to someone this morning very early uh, someone from the camping and uh, the guy convinced me to go today <laughs> so I'm on the road I didn't take a shower I, you know like, it's really like I, I shocked me 15 minutes later I'm about to arrive at the famous Victoria Falls National Park the road is crossing a few elephant corridors, so I need to stay alert. Also, the waterfall provides habitat for several unique species of plants and animals. I'm at the big falls. I already hear the falls. It's so beautiful. <laughs> the Victoria Falls is the world's greatest sheet of falling water. Columns of spray can be seen from kilometers away, as at the height of the rainy season, more than 500 million cubic meters of water per minute plummet over the edge into a gorge over 100 meters below. 
It was described by the Kololo tribe living in the area as Mozi Watunya, which means the smoke that thunders. The path along the edge of the forest provides those prepared to brave the trim and the spray with fantastic views of the falls. The immense spray and incredible noise caused by the rushing water is very impressive. Yes, it is beautiful, so beautiful, and I do not regret to have come this morning. What a magical way to get to know Zambia. Behind the scene. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I prepare, I swear. reviews and stuff when they say like bring something to protect you or stuff like that just don't care every time <laughs> so yeah i don't care i'm just going to find a place at the sun so i can dry let's do the boiling pot at the boiling pot nobody you don't want to walk <laughs> that's the truth <laughs> Well, actually, to go down is nice. I mean, easy. But on my way back... It takes 30 minutes to get to the bottom of the gorge, which is almost 110 meters high. I think this is one of the prettiest hikes I've ever done in my life. Plus, I'm completely alone. This picturesque hike down the gorge shows me the magnificence of the landscape around. The drama, power and beauty of this place definitely confirm why the Victoria Falls has been accredited as one of the seven natural wonders of the world. I'm good on you. What good? Yeah? What good? You're watching the people? Now I'm on the I'm on the way back. Up here. Oh down there is so beautiful. I love it. I love Zambia already. So cool. Can't wait to see more of this country. I entered the park over there. I walk to the bridge. I got wet here. 
I walked back and then I took the bowling part here in the valley, tropical valley, to there, facing the bridge, you can see. This is very interesting because I'm walking here in Zambia and this is the border post between Zambia and Zimbabwe and I'm walking along the border post. <laughs> interesting. I just crossed past with my ex-boyfriend. Didn't change. Hey, I'm not a fiki.